poor boy. Come. If you're on Come. safari, definitely don't try this. Hello, my boy. Hello, my boy. Hello, my boy. It's taken years for Kevin Richardson to build up this relationship of trust and affection. You guys, must stop fighting. You must stop fighting. Come, Sammy! And don't be fooled, these big cats are not tame. This is how the pride greeted us. A family of 38 who still have plenty of their wild instincts at this private reserve near Johannesburg, which is why we were watching from behind a fence. Hello, my boy. <laughs> Kevin is an animal behaviorist who doesn't believe in observing his subjects from a safe distance. <laughs> That's what you call a lion sandwich. Oh, hello my boys. Hello my little cubbies. What would you say to people, Kevin, who, who would say that you're really interfering with nature? Here? Well, you know, I think um, we interfered with nature the day we put these animals in enclosures. And uh, these lions, none of these lions come from the wild. So, you know, interfering in nature, no, not really. Um, trying to promote the better life of animals in captivity, yes. In the wild, lions don't like water. But look at this, a young lioness playing with him in the river. This footage has amazed wildlife experts around the world. Kevin's work here has divided conservationists. There are plenty who say that any human interaction with a wild animal is just wrong, but others say that this actually promotes the species in a way which should guarantee its long-term survival. Kevin's survival, though, is more in doubt. <laughs> This is normal. <laughs> but then an orphaned hyena decided to join in. <laughs> Stop it, Spaniards! <laughs> he escaped with just a few scratches this time around. Cheeky bugger. Stop it, Spaniards. I often say, you know, if, if, if they did kill me, I mean, because something like that did happen, you know, God forbid. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just one of those things. It's not something I think about or worry about. And uh, if I had the opportunity to come back after dying, I would do it all the same. There is a remarkable bond here. Over time and without any kind of coercion, these lions have accepted a man as part of the pride. Don't bite, Dad. You'll come off second best. Emma Hurd, Sky News, Mahalisburg, South Africa.